Do you ever feel like eating a nice chocolate bar? So you get in your car, you go over to your local grocery store, and you go over to the candy section, right? And look at the selection of chocolates they have, and you grab one, you go check out. What if I told you it wasn't that simple to get a chocolate bar? What if I told you there's people who make less than $10 a day gathering cocoa beans, who've never seen what chocolate even looks like, being exploited for their labor, in a different country just so that you can eat chocolate. This is an example of one of the many food injustices people experience. And in today's video, I wanna highlight some of these other food injustices and different ways we can combat. So first things first, what is food justice? It encompasses the idea that all individuals and communities have the right to access healthy, affordable, and cultural appropriate food, regardless of their background or socioeconomic status. Food justice seeks to address the root cause of food disparities such as poverty, discrimination, and system inequalities and aims to create a sustainable and equitable food system that promotes health, dignity, and well-being. In the United States, there's simultaneously an abundance of food and an abundance of hunger, which kind of doesn't make sense, but that's kind of how this country works. Despite being one of the richest countries in the world, 34 million Americans are food insecure. Basically, what food insecurity means is those people do not have access to healthy foods to live an active, healthy lifestyle. Although there are many great programs to combat food insecurity, such as this fridge and Willimantic, these efforts aren't enough to eliminate hunger because of their limited power and limited resources within the food system. In this photo, there are signs saying, take what you need and leave what you can, but it appears the need outweighs the resources in this instance because the fridge is actually empty. Let's make something abundantly clear, okay? The, the, the idea that there's world hunger because there are too many mouths to feed is absolutely incorrect. It's actually one of the biggest fallacies. There's actually more than enough food. The problem is money. The food market is one of the most profitable businesses, so they're gonna do as much as they can to make money, save money, and if there's hungry people, there's always gonna be a need for food. Another historic effort to fight hunger is the soup kitchen. This picture was taken at the Covenant Soup Kitchen in Wellamantic, which is a great organization that feeds people every day. Unfortunately though, their services are limited because of closed doors and lack of healthy food ingredients. The food pictured here is to actually provide nourishment and do something for your body rather than just fill your stomach up with a lot, like a lot of these foods that just have empty calories that don't actually nourish your body. The workers of the kitchen are people who are highly motivated in trying to combat the issue of world hunger and their services are very much needed and very much appreciated. Community efforts to combat food insecurity accomplish good work, but are often overshadowed by limited power due to corporate control of the food system. For example, food swamps are areas saturated with cheap and healthy food options for residents to consume. In many food swamps, there are no healthy, affordable food options due to grocery store redlining which is the international migration of grocery stores from inner cities to suburban areas as racist, classist, and economic profit-driven strategy. With increasing technology and bringing more awareness to the topic, there's hope that we can continue to combat the major discrepancies. Another unhealthy thing that our food system is doing is spraying our foods with many pesticides. As you can see in the image here, these people are wearing hazmat suits. It's kind of crazy to consider the fact that they don't want it being exposed to their skin, but we're supposed to consume these foods. Which in turn shows when profit is the main goal and not actual nourishment of people, it can be a really scary field because they don't really care what's going into your bodies because they're not the ones eating it. In addition to the actual food being unhealthy, the climates for the people working in these conditions are also unhealthy because considering a lot of farm labor is done by migrant workers who don't necessarily have the papers to be able to fight back against the inhumane treatment and are shown. We know that places like the soup kitchen and the community fridge do their part in trying to combat hunger, but there are also other organizations that aren't just looking at the hunger aspect, but are working to, to address the issue of food justice and try and make it better for everyone. This is a cooking class offered at Click. Click is a commercially licensed community kitchen in Wyndham that promotes residents' participation in their local food system by giving them a space to cook, share knowledge, and even start businesses. This chef taught others how to make hot sauce using local ingredients. 
Click also promotes anti-racist food justice. For example, the organization Migrant Justice visited Click this month as a part of their organizing tour, which aims to get Hannaford to unite with Milk with Dignity campaigns so workers on dairy farms can be, can be ensured better living and working conditions rather than the current oppressive conditions. People can also promote food justice by buying fair trade products. Fair trade products are a way of buying and selling products that make sure the people who produce the goods receive a fair price. Another key way people fight for food justice is by actively participating in the food system by either being a producer or a consumer. Gardening is a great way to connect with nature. It also lets you know where your food is coming from. And also, also, it protects you from the harmful effects of capitalism. At Yukon Spring Valley Student Farm, students learn how to grow and produce crops sustainably and grow produce for Yukon's dining services. This photo was actually taken at one of the volunteering opportunities at said farm. Volunteers use this soil to grow Brussels sprouts, okra, cabbage, and many other vegetables for a gardening exchange event called Veggie Stock, which just happens to be another great example of local food justice. Veggie Stock happened in the summer where Northeastern Connecticut communities get together at Lauder Park in Willimantic. Many farmers set up tents and give out free seedlings. People help each other to unload their trucks, move tables, and community members can take whatever seedlings they want for free. Many of these seedlings are hard to start with, and last year, SVSF used their greenhouse system to help start green tomatoes, red barren onions, and swamp milk. This provides everyone the opportunity to grow food in their yard without much requirement. Another community garden in the area is the organization Grow and Win. This space provides the opportunity for people who otherwise wouldn't have a space to grow. It's also a good way to build a community. Community gardens promote health and community cohesion by offering a safe and welcoming space for people including socially disadvantaged populations such as immigrants and refugees. The strawberry crop at Grow Win represents hope for the fruitful harvest this summer as well as hope for more just food system made up of education community members who participate every step of the way just as these strawberries fight off the cold harsh winter season and return every spring food justice and food security efforts continue to grow in spite of oppressive conditions now all that being said i don't expect to go to sleep and wake up tomorrow and food justice is there for everyone because that's not going to happen but what you can do is you can pay more attention to where you're getting your food from, make a more conscious effort to prevent food waste, and you can just take a little extra effort in your everyday life to make sure that you're contributing towards the cause. But that's all I have for today. It's LD, and I'm signing out. Peace.